Hello fellow beings of Middle Earth and welcome to the 11th episode of the Isengard campaign. Today we are facing our greatest battle uh, so far. This is going to be a very important battle. We're facing 3,900 servants of Mordor. They have temple wards, they have temple marksmen, they have a proper Uruk uh, bodyguard and they have a Nazgul. So this is actually going to be a challenging battle. We have established a very strong position though. And I am going to try to use my Ballista to our full potential. Uh, let's try to get some hits into these guys now. They are kind of um, clogged up. We can send Saruman over here as well. I really just want to rain hell upon them. Uh, especially the Temple Marksman. They could be quite devastating. I'm going to save a bit of ammo as well though. You guys are going to stand like this. And hopefully the Ballista will uh, soon start firing into this uh, Temple Marksman. We definitely need to drop uh, both of these units. Um, Saruman will start hitting the Temple Wards. And that should definitely uh, pay off in the long run. These are the units we really fear. Uh, we can hold a lot of units uh, in this kind of uh, position. We do have some wargs. I think I'm going to save them for later though. Um, they might become very vital but, uh, initially. Alright, come on, give me some nice hits now. Okay, these guys are actually... Just going to charge right in. Not that I really care about it. Now you start hitting. Potentially we could go for the blob or the Uruk uh, bodyguard. Let's try to snipe out their general. That would also be quite useful. We're also just targeting these smallers and um, temple wards. They're already dropping heavily. We want to spend as many arrows um, as we can so we can use the archers in melee if need. These temple marksmen were dropped very heavily before even coming into melee. That's very nice. Now this ballista don't really fire until now. Alright. You should definitely go for this blob though. You can rack up kills. Um, we could potentially use these guys to go for the Arkmos as well. The temple wards have already been dropped quite heavily. Uh, Saruman just keep firing at those. Uh, you guys should also target these guys now. And the thing is they are getting very much disadvantages, very many disadvantages because of this hill, so we should be able to rack up kills. So far we have killed a lot of them, at least more uh, of them than they have of us. This ballista seems to be very much bugged out. I don't really seem to... Yeah, it's kind of bugged. I just have to wait and see if it does something. Uh, the temple wards... Yeah, they have definitely lost. They are almost dead by now. Temple Marksman, new target. Uh, you guys, hit the Temple Marksman, you as well. You as well. You should uh, keep uh, hitting these guys. Ballista, uh, go for Temple Marksman as well. Just to perhaps make you really fire. Saruman, um, you could potentially go for... Yeah, we need to drop more numbers here. Their numbers are going to be quite devastating in the long run. Just drop some numbers now. Salman is going to be able to just slaughter Ark Mars, which is a strong uh, missile attack. At least we are using a lot of arrows and we have a lot of archers, which is very much needed in this battle. Uh, so the thing is, if we win this battle, we are going to be able um, to run this army out of Morhalon because remember we need Saruman to capture the ring uh, and it is now located in Karas uh, and we definitely like I, I would definitely sacrifice uh, the whole of Mordor just for the ring because the ring is just going to give us those very very strong units it's very very good oh there we go finally uh, but it <laughs> it wouldn't be much better to actually use it over here, but it doesn't really look like they're going to be willing to do that. They're not going to flank around these berserkers. I think I'm going to send the berserkers down here. 
just to have some extra support. Saruman still have a lot of ammo. I want to start dropping this Urk bodyguard as well. Uh, these guys give the Orc host a nice flank. We could potentially use our works now. I think it's about time we use them. Uh, we haven't really been using them as much as we want. You guys are getting nice shots as for the time being. Uruk Reavers are also in reserve. I think we're going to win this battle actually. Yeah, we're definitely going to win it. Now the Ballista, let's hope it starts firing in not too long. These wargs didn't really run where I want them to go. Let's try to make them run past over here. A bit bugged it looks like. We still haven't used Saruman's ability either. We're going to use it at a nice time. Uh, when they are about to route. Now, give these uh, maulers a few hits, Saruman. Definitely fall apart. The Urg bodyguard ha have been slaughtered up only by Saruman and they've already lost like half their units. Now, we should be able to go for the Temple Marksman. I definitely want to save the wargs though, um, actually, uh, because we want them to be alive. Now, here is the shots we really want. Finally, the Ballista is doing some shots. Uh, the Berserkers are incoming. These guys are out of ammo. Let's just bring them to the front line. You guys could potentially go like this. And you could replace these guys from behind. You will go from behind here. It's a bit buggy map, but it's okay. Yeah, Sarmal is completely devastating these units. So nice to see. Uh, these guys just hit the Temple Marksman. Uh, give them some challenge. This ballista have been so buggy. It, it's not just... It just doesn't want to fire, to be honest. Temple wards are over here now. These guys have gained so much experience already. Holding up quite well. We do have the berserkers over here. Let's just send them in. Let's be aggressive. We just need to hold the line. Just look at all their units, though. Now this ballista finally uh, looks like it's going to do something. Uh, these guys could stay behind here. You guys could stay behind here. These units have been teared apart, or they're kind of stretched, and they're getting hit by multiple units. Now this is the shots we want. Nice. Saruman is getting targeted. Let's perhaps try to obliterate the temple temple marksman with Saruman. doesn't really look like we're going to be able to <laughs> we just really need to save the works because we need to capture all the units um, because elsewhere we're not going to be able to go past the black gate and then this whole battle is for nothing uh, let's uh, try and target because so finally some units are routing now let's see how Saruman will perform in a battle against the temple wards the temple marksman Let's see a nice uh, volley. Oh, that's the perfect kind of shots you want from uh, crossbow units. Oh yeah, they were slaughtered. Lost five men. That's temple marksman after all. Do start routing. Uh, let's try to send our wards around down here. And try to capture as many units as we can. We might be able to get a couple of charges in as well. Uh, it should be possible. Temple uh, marksman are falling apart. Saruman's uh, missiles are just so deadly. Saruman has been buffed so severely. In 2.2, he only had the Orthan card. Like, they're a nice unit, of course, but nothing compared to the, the monster unit he has now. We still haven't used our um, ability. Still going to save it a little bit, just in case something goes very wrong. But these guys are not really doing what they should. Let's just send them in. Let's get these guys out. I don't really want them engaged. Let's hope they don't get the charge off. Ah, oh, Jesus. Come on, get out of there, you fools. Beautiful. Now, these Orc Moors we're going to capture. Ballista is still firing. We could potentially go for Orc Bodyguard, but it's quite hard. It's nice to just get some hits here and there. Nice, wonderful. A lot of the armies finally routing now. 
Um, let's see. 53% killed. We have lost a lot. This army is going to be battered on. That's just no way around it. I thought, uh, like, I wasn't even sure we were going to win this battle. But because we had this hill, it really saved us, to be honest. Um, where is the Uri bodyguard? Yeah, the Temple Marksman are falling apart. Let's hit, hit these guys now. You're actually firing at your archers. This is a bit risky. Uh, I don't want them to snipe out Saruman by accident. Just look at that. They're like Javis. He has 13 missile attack, I believe. Uh, yeah, he got 12. That's like a javelin uh, unit. Just so incredible. And we haven't even sent any into melee yet. These guys are just getting obliterated. I believe the Uruk bodyguard is basically... Yeah, they have a lot of armor. Berserkers are performing quite well. We are captured enough. Uh, these guys are just... Yeah, they're not really routing. Let's just send them up against here again. Now, let's kind of speed up the battle a little bit. Saruman can now be thrown into melee. I think over here we definitely need some support. Let's try to uh, get her, one of the generals. Would be very useful if you were to go down. Temple wards, I'm not really sure where they are at the moment. Not go for temple marksmen, they are going to slaughter us. Rukai archers, yeah, these guys are doing very nicely now. Some random guard which is charging. You guys just hit the Uruk bodyguard, get rid of him. Saruman! Now they should really be vulnerable to our attack. And there we go, eating up their general. He's not dead though, but definitely eating up. Uh, his bodyguard. There he is. He's actually quite brave. Let's see these guys, we don't want them caught up. Let's bring them out. The general is going to be meat sauce in a minute anyways. You guys just hit them hard. Uh, is there, yeah, capture these guys now. Rukai Raiders. It's time to be a bit more aggressive. Go out of guard mode and just hit as hard as you can. You guys hit up Moran and guard. You as well, now we're just going to try and make a chain route. We're just going to throw every unit we have into battle. Oh jeez, let's get this out of here. I, we really need to save them for the... Um, for the meantime, I don't... Oh no, 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 come on, come on, get out of there, get out of there. We need to capture all the troops. We need these guys alive. So important. Saruman is losing lots of units now. What is he up against? Orcoast? Right, you gotta run through. Don't want Saruman. Yeah, he's sitting safe in the back. That's very good. Now, these guys are rallying out though. Excellent. Just hit them hard. Where are our berserkers? They are hitting them around and guard. Eating them up. Now you hit hard. Where's our wargs? They're fine. This is quite a massive battle. I'll bring these guys down. They have 70% lost. We have lost 42. We are winning the battle. Um, get you guys. Let's you as well. Just get down here. Really blobbed up. Orcos is a better unit. That's why they are they're holding up much better now because they have Orcos. That's a proper orc unit. Like at least not entirely trash. Come on, where is the Uruk bodyguard? I just really want to get rid of him, and it will be much easier. Uh, we could potentially send an hour works now and try to make these guys route. Shouldn't be too hard. These guys are about to break. 
These guys aren't really getting in any shots, are they? It would be so nice to snipe a nice gold bodyguard out with uh, ballista shots. Alright, let's see if these wargs, even though they're very tired, can get a proper charge and eat some orc. And there we go. That's nice, that's what I'm talking about. And I'll just eat them alive. And you guys, press on. Just press hard. Just make them all route. You guys, going to flank around them around and guard. Make them break. Salman still sitting very nicely in the back. He will survive this battle. Now you flank around. These guys have gotten a nice texture upgrade as well. Just look at these shields, much better than before. Come on. Yeah, we have lost 50%. It's been a hard battle, but we'll rally out and we will be able to get Saruman towards Karaskaladon and capture the ring. Now, Berserkers, you have a new task. Eliminate the Munaskul. Uh, I really want to make a whole army of just Berserkers at some point. Does that sound interesting? I think that sounds really cool. Oh, they actually had a few Uruks as well. I forgot about them. But we were able to slaughter them anyways. It's excellent. Yeah, you guys are getting chewed up. Let's uh, chew up this unit as well. Make this Orc Raiders uh, route. They are trash units. Now the Berserkers are incoming. These Temple Wards are trying to make a stand. Here he is. Render unclean. Holding the Black Gate. These guys are actually getting quite demolished. Oh, it's because we're charging. We pushed units in front of them. Now you should route any time now. Yeah, there we go. You guys, flank. Berserkers are in melee with the Temple Marksmen. They should get quite uh, many kills. And Rendon Clean himself is fighting the fiercest Urks that Isengard has to offer. Oh jeez, these guys though. They have been shoot up. Brave Stando. You gotta help the, your brothers over there. And you could potentially... Yeah, they're not over 30 so they won't respawn anyways. Just uh, take and capture what you can over here now. And there the general goes. Now it's only Ren left. And this this army is completely crushed. Uh, they are getting yeah, they're getting surrounded by these guys. Now Saruman, help oh it's the Temple Wards, of course. That's why they have been struggling. No surprise there. Now the Temple Wards will be slaughtered though. Now just to bring down the Temple Marksman now. Temple Wars are going down, and there he goes, render and clean to an archer. <laughs> That's so awesome. Okay, now let's just speed it up. Temple Ward is the only one fighting. There are no mere orc scum. Let's bring him down. All right, it's only the Temple Ward left. He will be down in a minute, and there he goes. What a battle! 951 lost, 3,000, uh, almost uh, 800 killed, that's so amazing. 410 kills by the Garthan, 506 by the Urkai Raiders, uh, Urkai Archers I mean. Excellent, just look at these stats. The Ballista performed very poorly, and the Wargs as well, which is usually the unit we get the most kills on. Now the Black Gate Towers. I will immediately just run Saruman out of there, head towards Karaskalaton, and in the old lands of Rohan, we are mustering for war. We're just going to go straight up against Loren, just crush everything they got. Uh, and Saruman needs to be the one to capture the One Ring, so we need to bring down all their other armies. Execute them all. Mordor is coming. With a diplomat. Alright. 
Now this, let's see what will happen. We have gained a lot of um, new uh, subscribers lately and it's getting very interesting. Our channel is growing at a rapid pace. Let's just sack this place, get some money, need it. I'm, uh, so I'm very happy about that. I'm um, looking forward to bring out a new lore video about uh, Celebrimbor, Eregon and Sauron in not too long. It's going to be a, cop a series um, which will speculate about the new series that Amazon has to offer. Ooh, Moran and Broken. Gondor weakened. Dolguldur besieged. Only good news for us. Dolguldur besieged. Wow. That's actually quite interesting now. We can even recruit Urukai Pikemen here in not too long. Uh, these guys will bring us down though. And they, yeah, they will capture the places over here. Gorgas has turned his back. We'll just hold Saglun here for now. With Timur. Sag Ulkurs is quite heavily defended. The Witch King. Okay, now. Let's uh, let's see at our plan now. Uh, these guys need to gather together. Captain Ufluk. I think we need to take out Us take back Uzgukut first. Let's just siege these guys out for the meantime, I suppose. We still have some time. It can only hold for five turns. And in the meantime, just going to push out unit. Yeah, we're making loads of money. Doesn't matter at all. Just push out everything we got. We need to gather them over here though. Let's wait a little bit. These guys. We got these guys now. Excellent. Ugluk is going to lead another army. And guys, Ortha. Let's just bring them all forth. We need lots of wargs, they're going to be quite effective against the elves. And we definitely need some heavy hitters as well. We're getting Urukai Pikemen next turn. This is going to be very interesting. Let's get uh, Beast Breeder. I really want to get some proper trolls. Actually, we are already getting them, aren't we? Yeah, I think this just gives us more trolls. I'm not sure. Actually, I've never understood this, to be honest. Uh, if anyone in the comment section know what the difference here is, please uh, give me a shout out about it. Uh, I think we should definitely... Mm, we could wait a little bit with this place. Build something over here instead. I uh, can recruit some proper units here. Not yet. Let's get the barracks. And let's get these units. We need to push, keep up the pressure on Mordor on this side as well. It's going to be heavy. It's definitely going to be heavy. Yeah, the drill square will need it in um, Oitimor. Yeah, we're getting nice units here. Let's build the barracks as well. Let's just get those units out. These settlements will fall shortly. Now, what way we could potentially cross over here at the Argonath? think that would be the wisest. I know that Mordor has some kind of settlements around here somewhere. The Ballista definitely needs to be brought behind, or just left behind. Can't really care about it. Okay, let's just bring it like this. Uh, could we send out an army over here? Morgana has a strong army though. Um, we can just barely be out of his sight. Yeah, this is the road we need to go. Saruman himself could go pretty far along with some works, but it's it's really risky. You know what? We're going to send these works with Saruman and just make him rush as fast as possible. Okay, let's just check over here. Oh yeah, we were just sieging them out here. Doesn't really matter. Um, we can definitely siege at Saruman now. Yeah, it didn't really work out. Let's see some out with these guys, and um, he will reinforce. These guys can hold for the meantime. We have enough units here as well. I'm just yeah, that isn't really anyone. Enerwife is coming in. 
It also really looks like they have much, but we need more units. We do have a couple here. Send these guys as well. Yeah, we, we could sacrifice a couple of land over here now. The most important thing is just to rush for the ring. We just really want to get the ring. Let's hopefully... Yeah, this, this army could... They might need to attack quite quickly. We have a couple of crossbows, some archers, some more crossbows. What do these guys have? Yeah, it's mainly trash. But it is going to spend our time. Let's just build everything. These guys, for a long look. Can't recruit more. Okay, let's actually cancel one of these buildings. And just steam out orcs. The orc riders are quite uh, good against the elves I have imagined. I have um, uh, seen before. So let's get a couple of those. Yeah, we're not going to make a lot of money. It's to be expected. Might want to attack these guys next couple of turns. A ballista would also be quite useful, to be honest. And where do we have a ballista? We could uh, recruit a ballista, but it's just going to be so slow. But we definitely just want to attack Lorien as quickly as possible. At least we are having Saruman on his way, and that's very, very good. We are going to lose these settlements, and then our economy is going to be so trashy, though. Yeah, it's a, it's a hard situation. Oh yeah, we're actually preparing for this army, of course. Uh, do we have a couple of archers? Let's bring the archers up here. Uh, they can be very, very useful in Hennethanun. We're going to send them there next turn. Ah, uh, they might already attack us, to be honest. We have this army, though. If we move them up to this bridge. These guys can attack whatever they w wish for. We can just retreat and take out whatever army we need to. I think that's a plan. Risky plan, but nonetheless a plan. One, two... Three, four. Uh, let's probably bring two, well, at least one more unit. Yeah, probably two. Get ready for fighting. I'm let's just make these guys siege out this place. I don't really care about it. Just to make them occupied, to be honest. <laughs> Lord Saruman, on the gatekeeper. Now, it's really important that we are successful on this side now. Um, if not, our economy is going to just take a real hit. We might want to be able to sacrifice Matufka. Um, yeah, and the wife might start expanding. The ring is our only objective now. Like, we're going to try to defend our borders as well as we can. But we, we're going to take so heavy losses to our economy just because of everything we are building and uh, all the troops we are recruiting. Could more potentially sally out? That would be very useful. Yeah, this battle is over. Let's just uh, ultra resolve it. And that's 1,500 less coins a turn. They're attacking the camp. Oh no. Oh, he's barely just going to be able to not attack us, I think. Jesus. That is some risky business up there. We can't let Salmon be um, so slow going either. Just gotta let him go. Dark Lord of Mordor. Getting the ring. We need it. Okay. Yeah. He's still just sieging out. Yeah, we can actually outrun them. They even got the Varag Lancers. This is a strong army. And we're not capable of taking them out. Dead Marches reached. 
Oh, there is Gelebrin. Okay. Get ready for fighting. Is that what well, Saruman has at least escaped for the meantime. We're still making some money though. We're still a plus. But now we are going to bring out lots of units. Uh, catapult in Oitimor. Okay, that's going to be very useful. Already. They actually started besieging out uh, Oilagos. Yeah, we might want to... Yeah, I think we're going to win that battle though. And this army was, of course... They went up here instead for Henneth Anun, so now we can reinforce Henneth Anun with archers and such. They do not get free upkeep for the meantime. Gondor is still not pushing on this side. We still have Kodotas Moran Moranon. Okay, let's see what we got here. Get ready for fighting. Listen up. Come on. We have completed an objective. Now we're starting to lose money. No surprise. We might want to attack this place. We will get more money and these guys will lose some numbers. Uh, we definitely have the force to do it as well. We could try to make them sell the auto, uh, just leaving a war unit for the siege or something. It might work that they will attack uh, Captain Shagrul. Let's hope it does. Unless we're going just going to attack the next turn. Yeah, you guys join Ugluck. And that will be another army as well. Now bring out the uh, infantry. We need some proper units. They are also going to have elite already. Okay, these guys are going to hit our income, definitely. Yeah, that's 1,000 more in loss. Okay, let's uh, make an elite army here as well. I think we can merge a couple of units in here as well. The pikemen, I think. But these guys can simply just go home. Let's uh, merge with these. Get ready for get ready for fighting. Oh, I wasn't supposed to lead both of these units out of the siege. That was stupid. Uh, I can siege with both. Hopefully, they will attack Rishnash. If the strategy work on both this side and over here, that would be very, very useful. Now, I don't exactly know how long um, these guys will be able to... Um, how many turns we have until we need to capture Lorien. I think it's like 20. Uh, so we'll just rush out for it. Now, Gorgash needs to be attacked. Saglon. Um, let's Get take him down. You got a couple of cavalry. We don't really have m many works. Let's reinforce with a couple of works if we do have some. No sleeping here. Could potentially send a lot of these units um, into this into Oitimor just to get more upkeep. I think we need to do it. Listen. That's going to ease a little bit of pain. And when these guys, when we lose a lot of these guys, that should work out as well. I'm gonna stick you. This is a trash army though. Okay, I will just fight this battle off camera and I will uh, be right back after the battle. Look at that, exactly 3,000 went down, 247 lost, very excellent battle, wasn't really that hard. 
Um, they didn't really send a lot of strong units as us, and they didn't have a proper general. A proper general is very important uh, for factions with uh, mor morale issues. It's very easy to route factions with, an, with a faction where you have lots of units. I, I love this portrait of uh, Gandalf meeting three hunters in Fangorn. Let's try to ransom them, just for the money. That didn't work out though, but we got some money. And this is very, very, very interesting. Now, they, ha they are recruiting Uruks now, so that is a bummer of course. We have a proper general here. Now, should we actually just keep pushing? We could potentially do it. Get ready for fighting. Ah, yeah, he can't actually go into the fort. Uh, do we get free upkeep here? We do have uh, four units. Let's just get upkeep on everything we can. Come on, no sleeping here. Can we recruit? Yeah, okay. Wargs is probably no. They are too few. Okay, that's a couple of more units. We only have two. No sleeping here. Orders. No sleeping here. You guys go into Urbors, and you guys go up here. You go there, uh, Saglun. No you gotta go up here to Gundul's Gotors, and you guys can just go back into uh, Umbrat. Okay, that's nice. That's definitely some more money. Not losing too much money per turn. Gelebrin could probably be a nice target. Alright, let's see if they go for this um, this trap. Let's hope they do. Streaming out our units. Even the Urukai Pikemen, Liga 3. Oh wow. Their stats is just amazing. If you use armor piercing against the Urukai Pikemen, though, they're going to fall apart. Just look at their stats. Retreat. You guys are going to defend Matumfka. Let's get one more unit over on this side. Yeah, let's save money. Let's see what the next turn brings us. Uh, we actually forgot uh, that unit over there. This episode is on its brink of its end though. Dwarves of Khazadum coming to Moranon to deal with us. That's just so weird. Yeah, they're just trying to bribe him. It's a bit weird. Oh, they're going for Taugrish. Yeah, we can't really hold it. And they went for the bait. They actually go for this little fort. Oh no. What do they got though? We do have works. You know what? I'm going to fight this battle and I'm going to capture Gelebrin. Uh, we might. No, actually, I don't think we have the. No, the, it's not enough. And we want to save these uh, units. Oh uh, no. We should just have retreated inside the battle. Well, I'll fight off out of camera and I'll see if I can win this. We might still be able to pull off Gelebrin. Um, I will be right back up. We are actually crushing them utterly. I don't know why I was so nervous about this battle. I just, I was very afraid of the Uruk Halberds, but we were still able to crush them without taking too much losses. And now we are actually going to capture Celebrin, which is just quite hilarious in my opinion. So that was a freebie from Mother, and we would definitely take it. It's just perfect for the time being. Right, you need to capture these guys. Yeah, actually, it doesn't really matter. They're under 30, 
So, we'll get to town anyways. There we go. Eating some more Uruks. Beautiful. 90 lost. We might even get a general out of this. Which we'll definitely take and just hold Gelebrin. We just need every coin we can get at this point. All of our savings is going to go um, into making of um, more troops. We need a lot of them. Looks like the fellowship is going to cross uh, the red horn. Let's execute them. And this army just keeps following us. And they still haven't started sieging Moranon and uh, Durthang. We could probably have hit the orcs quite hard inside Mordor. But um, it's just giving us a breather. And to be honest, we really need that at this point. Just defend is going, yeah, you're definitely getting adopted. They did not go for the bait here. We'll have to attack them. Malkur. Yeah, you're just going to die here. Oh no, they actually had more troops. Oh no, and we can't... Jeez, oh, I was supposed to bring the warriors out for the meantime. Oh well. Yeah, we're going to see if the warriors can bring down that army by themselves. That's going to be the next test. Saruman is definitely within reach though. One, two, three, four, five, six turns, seven, eight. That should be sufficient enough. I think we can get the ring. I guess these guys can just siege out. Uh, we need all the troops we can. And we want to preserve them for as long as possible. Get ready for fighting. Let's wait a little bit with these guys. I don't know what Gondor is doing to be honest. I will only address you in battle. My lord. We'll have to go for this battle. These guys though should definitely place them in a fort for the meantime. I completely forgot about these guys. Could probably have brought them to the fort much earlier and saved some money. Yeah, we're already making more. Uh, Captain Dagar. Just let them attack us over there. It's alright. You guys go into the fort. I think these two armies will be enough for the meantime being, but uh, definitely want just more orcs streaming northwards. At least these uh, works. But the, we do have some some real units up here. Still have the besieged this place. So hilarious. And they're still just sieging out over here. You know what? Since Mordor is so freaking idle, we're going to push on. They shit on their son, on the, themselves. Oi, Ugurs, you're going back. We're going to save Morandon and Kutatas more. We're going to expand into Mordor at this point. Even though nobody would believe we do. This is excellent. These guys are just holding here for now. This army, we're just... It, they're just going over here instead. They're so stupid, to be honest. Let's bring up a watchtower and bring you down again. You guys are just standing here. That doesn't matter. You guys are getting free upkeep again. We can recruit some more of these. I think we... Yeah, we're getting free upkeep. But we're losing solid money now. I think we need to take that down this town. Oh, that was nice. Sack the place, get the money. Prepare this. Okay, this is actually quite useful now. Push for Kalembo, I suppose. Boron, what can you do over here? 
Not that much. Get ready for fight mission up. And they're happy. Or kill them all. We get shot mission up. Shop them to peace. Mission up. Okay, we'll deal with this later. Now we're getting more money again, and it isn't too bad. Uh, wonderful. Tagrish. Yeah, I don't really think we're going to be able to bring down these guys by with this army. We'll have to just go for it. Need to risk it. Uh, I will be right back after the battle. Now that is an excellent victory. Good job. You should be promoted. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Now I think I'm going to play the modern battle off camera as well in Uzgukut. Um Actually I do want to wait a little bit. We are going to siege them out so that we have our army intact and Saruman is on his way anyways. But we do of course want to soften up Lorien before Saruman arrives and I think we need a third army just to have the troops we need. But the Dunlandings are definitely doing some work over here, and that's what I like to see. There we go, real army. Captain Dagar should be defeated. Captain Askrum. Oh, he is actually the one getting the adoption. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened there. That's some medieval to shit I don't really know all too much about. These guys will move the next turn. Kalembo. The Amrov though. They're really close now. Could be disastrous. It's cool to send out lords again. You are going to work as a garrison now. Not too bad, to be honest. Or get ready for fighting. Or no sleeping here. Three more turns. Listen up. Sleep for a few loud. Get ready for fighting. Or listen. Okay, let's do one more turn. Just really excited uh, no today. Let's send these guys up fight. here. Objective complete. Or getting this Urukai pipeman in action, Karaskaladon. That's going to be interesting. And we are going to be able to get a NAS school in time if we acquire the ring. I just really hope we're not too late. You never know about the ring. It's kind of... It's a bit RNG to be honest. We definitely don't want to lose... Oh, they are probably going to attack us. I'll have to fight this battle off camera. I think we should be able to win. I really hope so. Troops are better. Yeah, it's going to be a close fight though. I will fight it out and I will be back after battle. Can we, yeah. Heroic victory. Probably going to adopt another general there. We can then just place him in the fort. Have a proper general over here as well. These victories have been very important. Uh, just maintaining our lands while we are pushing for the ring. It's a very good idea. Uh, losing a lot of land wouldn't be what we want, but now we're pushing even with lords. And we have a catapult. I'm definitely looking forward to burning some uh, orcs with a real catapult. Oh, these guys are actually selling out. I feel so bad for them. Oh, they have a lot of Moran and Guard. Uh, I actually do want to send these guys up uh, with Saruman, actually. Even though we could bring them down. Oh no, come on. That might be the other large army, which we saw earlier. It definitely is. Wow. Well, I'm going to give them as many casualties as possible. There's just no way we can win against this army, though. But uh, we'll definitely bring them down as much as we can because just auto solving is not in our favor. I will kill as many as I can and I will see you when we have fought to death.
And there he goes. He's dead. And most of our works actually routed very well on. But we did kill 20%. Guess it's not too bad. At least we killed their general. The Variag Lancers is of course a very good cavalry unit. So it was nice to just deal with them. Which means we don't have to deal with them in the f future. But it was kind of annoying to make these wargs um, not to join with Saruman. We must not forget though that Saruman has his own uh, small army. Which will definitely help um, in this uh, battle. It looks like Mordor is still just chasing down Saruman. They are not even going for the Moranon. I don't know what they are doing. We're going to take out Oi Ogors in the next turn. And then bring down those armies. Then we should probably go for Baradur. But on the other hand we don't want to exterminate all the Nazgul's. Uh, we do want um, get to get the Nazgul's of course. As generals. Ututau. Wurdeke, Wooden Realm, Orcs of Gundabad, doesn't really affect us. Sagburg, large army, not really much we can do. Oh yeah, these guys can reach. We have these guys as well. Sederland, it's just Boron. Can't you really move now? Oh, that's so stupid. We already have this one. Should probably just get the temple. Uh, on the other hand, no. Let's just save money. We're actually going in plus now. Very good. Oh, this is stupid. Really wasting time, to be honest. <laughs> Don't waste time, he says, but we are wasting time. These guys defend themselves so well. Okay, let's um, let's just bring this army together. That's one whole army. And these guys will go behind. And Saruman is over. Nice. He's now back in the land we want him in. These guys might be chasing him, I don't really know. Yes. Catapult action next episode, guys. Look forward to that. Two more turns here. That will be perfect timing. Salman will get up there and then these guys will follow. And we have this army, of course. Objective complete. I just think things are going very well. Even though we do have some issues here and there, <laughs> in general we have been doing so well. Not long till we can recruit, start recruiting units here either. Can I help, my lord? I'm really happy about the situation at the moment. <laughs> we need to bring those guys down though. We have been way too slow over here. This army will probably bring some havoc, but won't be too much of a trouble. These guys will be obliterated with a catapult. Can't wait to see that and crossbows. We have everything to deal with these guys. We only have one arc arch unit. But that is it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really enjoying making content for you guys these days. Like I'm really enjoying playing these campaigns. Getting so much positive feedback. And in general our channel is just growing. And I, I really... I really like uh, doing YouTube stuff. I've actually had a YouTube channel before and I reached 4,000 subscribers. That was a whole other topic. But I'm thinking about reaching 10,000 with this channel. I know it sounds kind of uh, weird, but I definitely do want to reach a lot of subscribers. And I definitely will continue to give you quality content. So please give me feedback on what I can do better, both in my campaigns and in general. Uh, my commentary and such. I really want to grow uh, and I need your help to do it. 
so please leave some feedback. But that's uh, it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys for the next episode.